it's that time of year again. Time to close the windows, crank up the heat, and light a fire in the fireplace. It's also time to stock up on tissues and cough drops. Time for sniffles, sore throats, itchy eyes, and more. We go through the same thing every year, but why does spending more time in our home make us feel this way? And more importantly, what can we do about it? Many of these symptoms can be linked to a common cause, indoor air quality. The good news? Indoor air quality is something we can improve. To start with, there are five basic types of compounds that impact the air quality in our homes. Toxic compounds, infectious illness, allergens and particulates, microbial growth, and safety gases. Symptoms of these compounds can include respiratory irritation, infection, congestion, sneezing, coughing, asthma flare-ups, illness, fatigue, and much, much worse as concentration levels and exposure increase. During colder months, these compounds become trapped in the home, worsening our indoor air quality and affecting our health. Fortunately, there are many ways to manage these compounds and clean the air we breathe. Air filtration is the first line of defense in improving indoor air quality. Some airborne compounds like radon are extremely small and may pass through traditional filters freely, so consider an air filter that is rated to deal with these smaller compounds. Ventilating your home is as simple as keeping windows open to circulate indoor and outdoor air. Of course, we close our windows in the colder months for a reason. It's cold, and losing all that heated air is expensive. The solution? An Energy Recovery Ventilator System, or ERV. An ERV vents poor indoor air and draws in fresh outdoor air while keeping your home's temperature and humidity level stable. Encapsulating your dirt crawl space isolates damp, exposed earth from your home using a durable, reinforced plastic liner. In addition to preventing mold growth, encapsulated crawl spaces can also provide a clean, dry space for extra storage. Depressurization is the most effective solution for reducing radon levels in your home. This involves creating a pathway for radon gas to travel away from your living spaces to be vented safely outside. The EPA recommends that homes with radon levels above 4 picocuries per liter be mitigated, and as the leading cause of lung cancer for non-smokers, all homes should have their radon level tested. Lastly, a dehumidifier can help deal with water vapor and condensation in your basement, reducing dusty smells and moisture that mold and dust mites thrive in. A dehumidifier extracts moisture from the surrounding area, and a quality dehumidifier can extract several gallons of moisture from the air each day. Knowing what causes poor indoor air quality and how to improve it is the first step in making your home a safer, more comfortable place to live. To learn more about improving your indoor air quality, check out the resources in the video description down below.